The oil crunch to us as a group is the end of cheap oil. It becomes the time when it's no longer possible to produce enough oil to necessarily meet demand growth in some parts of the world. As demand goes up and up and up, and most of that is driven by the non-OECD countries or the developing countries, there has to be a limit at which we can put oil onto the uh, market. And, and that, of course, then leaves a shortfall which leads to all sorts of crunches, not least the price and the economics that follow from that give us a crunch. Businesses will be impacted in many ways. People tend to think of oil as the stuff you put in cars, buses, trains, aeroplanes, lorries, etc. They don't think of all the ramifications that hydrocarbons have for the whole economy. You know, fertilizers made from oil, our goods and services that we buy in shops have a huge oil input into them. So if oil becomes more expensive, then we get to a situation whereby all business is impacted. We've issued a second report because we looked at this last year and came to the conclusion that in the long run there is a serious problem. Uh, however, uh, with the uh, economic climate and the crisis that has prevailed over the last 12 months or more, a lot of people take the view that oil demand is dropping and therefore the whole question about reaching the peak rate of pumping is no longer an issue. In other words, it's gone away. We felt it was necessary to look at that again because the fundamentals haven't gone away. Uh, and in this report, the second report, uh, I think we've made the case that whilst there's a short term uh, alleviation of the problem, the long-term problem still exists, and in fact the peak hasn't been pushed back very far. The one thing that could actually impact when this oil crunch might come would be a major economic recession. Well, of course, shortly after the last report, we had a major economic recession. So this report is now looking at the context of that, what that's done to demand in the world economy, what it's done to demand in countries like Britain, and also what that's meant for investment in new supply. The oil price has come down from its big peaks, but it hasn't come down nearly as much as many people expected in the recession. And we're looking at why that event has taken place. We've still got a relatively expensive oil price when demand has been declining in the Western economies. The implications for society, if this isn't avoided, are really quite significant because so much of our economies are driven around oil or driven from oil. Uh, as the emerging world takes more and more oil to feed their own developing economies, uh, then obviously the price will become much higher because there will be a shortage. That will affect all of us very directly. I hope the outcome of this report will be much, much, much more attention paid by government to this issue. This is an urgent, clear and present danger. And none of us are going to be thanked in 10 years' time if the UK economy is suffering inflation, balance of payments issues, and all the other things that could come from a world of expensive oil before our low-carbon economy, as the government calls it, kicks in a few years later. We're looking at the period of a crunch. We want to avoid the kind of crunch that came with the credit crunch by making sure that we plan for the possibility of an oil crunch. And if it doesn't happen, we will be the happiest people in the world.